Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is uh, more on constructing exponential functions uh, from verbal descriptions. So we're writing the equations here. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com and this class is called Integrated Math 1. So next year I'll be uh, uploading Integrated Math 2. So, and if you guys can, would you guys, if you find it helpful, click like, or if it sucks, click don't like, or leave a comment, or whatever, okay? All right, let's get started here. So, let's, we're going to write an equation of the exponential function, okay? So, when a piece of paper is folded in half, the total thickness doubles. Suppose an, un, an unfolded piece of paper is 0.1 millimeters thick. Uh, the total distance, which is t sub n, or t of n, of the paper is an exponential function of the number of folds right here. Okay, so it folds in. So our goal is to get f of x equals, in fact, this is t of n, but uh, exponential functions are f of x equals a times b to the x. A is our original thickness. It's our first number. And so here's our original thickness that before we started folding it right here. Okay, and so it doubles after every time. So here's A right here. So uh, we know it's going to be T sub N equals 0.1 times uh, B to the X. And then B is our, is our, um, uh, our time. It, it, it multiplies. Here it says the thickness doubles. So the value of B, which is, um, uh, is going to be 2 because it's times 2 times 2. That's what doubling is. Okay, so there's our equation for that function. T sub N equals 0.1 times uh, 2 to the n power. Remember, you always do the exponents first right here, okay? This is always your original term. Remember, geometric sequences, this was our first term right here. Our nth term is equal to our first term times r, and then, then the geometric one, it was to the n minus 1, but to the power anyway. So let's, here's another one. A savings account with an initial balance of $1,000, there's a sub 1, or our first term, earns a 1% interest per month. That means the account balance grows by a factor of 1.01 .01 in each month if no deposits or withdrawals are made. Now this 1.01 .01 is, means it's 100% plus the 0 0.01, because this is 0 0.01. Remember, you move the decimal two places to the left, so here's the 0 0.01, the 1%, so it takes the 100% of your balance plus the 1%. So it's 101%. That's what this is right here. So the account balance in dollars is B of T. I don't know why they chose that right there. So it's an exponential function of the time T. So T is our exponent in months after the initial deposit. Okay, so um, our uh, our here's our goal. B of T equals A times B to the T. So the value of A in the original balance, so the very first deposit was 1000 bucks. Okay. And then the value of B is that thing that, um, how much it increases. It increases by this 1.01 right here, okay? So then our equation is just um, uh, B of T equals 1,000 times, and then this is uh, either in parentheses or you put a little dot right there. So I go back and forth on this, and so does your book. Sometimes they put a dot instead of parentheses. Here they did parentheses. So 1,000 times 1.01 to the T power right there. Okay, all right, so now we're going to write an exponential function uh, in the paper folding example. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm thinking, of, I'm thinking ahead. So why is the exponential function in the paper folding example discrete? Well, remember, discrete means they're only points. They're not a continuous set of points. In the next lesson, we'll be doing continuous points. So it's discrete because we can't fold a, you know, half a number of times. The folding are whole numbers of times. So whenever <clears throat> your input values are whole numbers, then it's always going to be discrete. They're always going to be um, separate points on the graph right there. All right, so write an exponential equation for the function that includes the points right here. I was thinking ahead for this right here. Okay, so we, it's going through these two points, and they tell us it's exponential. Okay, so um, the x's are always our inputs, and the y's are always our output values right here. And remember, let's go back to um, uh, our, our equation right here. Exponential equations are y equals, or f of x equals, a times b to the x. Okay, and then in our geometric sequence, you guys, 
it's the same setup right here. This is a sub n, which is f of x right here. Okay, this is our nth term right here. Our nth term was our first term times r to the n minus 1. Okay, so this first term is this guy right here. And then here, back then, we did uh, we found r by taking righty divided by lefty. And we did it from the output values, the second number, so 24 divided by 12. So here we do the same thing. That's how we get b, because b is our r right here. So we do righty divided by lefty from the output value. So 24 divided by 12 is going to get us 2 right there. So that's what b is right there. Okay, so that gives us a, so, so far we have uh, f of x equals a times 2 to the x. And to get a, we just substitute in either this point for x and y or this point for x and y. I chose the first one because they're smaller numbers right there. So if we substitute uh, 3 in for x and 12 in for y, remember f of x equals y, so that's our 12 right there. And then so 12, so 2 to the third is 8, so 12 equals uh, a times 8, and then we divide both sides by 8, and then 4 goes into both of those. 3 and 2 times, so a equals 3 halves, so then our equation is f of x equals 3 halves times 2 to the x. Okay, let's do that with this one right here. Okay, now to get um, our b, our b is righty divided by lefty, so we did this number divided by this number. Okay, so 9 fourths divided by uh, 3 is the same as 9 fourths divided by 3 over 1, and then we flip the second one and change it to multiply. So 9 fourths times 1 third, and then the 3's cancel. So there's b. b is equal to 3 fourths, okay? And then so, um, uh, so here's our equation so far. Now we're just going to substitute in either one of the points. Which one would you rather substitute in, that one or that one? Totally this one, okay? So this is y. That goes right here. And this is x. That's going to go right there. So if we substitute that in, then we get um, uh, 3 equals a times uh, 3 fourths to the 1 power, and then uh, multiply both sides by the reciprocal, and we get a equals 4. So there's our equation right there, okay? Easy enough. All right, so write an equation for each function here. So imagine if 50 people watched this video on day one then each person agrees to send this video to three people the next day to watch and to request that each of those send it to three people to watch the day after that the number of viewers, which is v sub n, is an exponential function of the number of n days since the video was first shown. Okay, here's the first term, that's a, and then b is, it keeps multiplying by 3, so it's going to be uh, okay, so here's the first days, and then we do it times 3, and then those uh, 150 send it to 3 more people, so now it's 450 times 3 times 3 times 3. Here's the first term, and then uh, the B is 3 right there, so... So we get uh, v sub n equals 50 times uh, 3 to the nth right there. Okay, here's one more. A biologist is testing a new bacteria. The number of bacteria begins with 45,000. There's our first term. Each day, the number of bacteria decreases by a third. Okay, so uh, the number of bacteria remains is the exponential function of the number of n days since the initial amount. Okay, so uh, our r of n is going to be a times b to the nth, where it, um, our first term is a, and b is the amount it decreases. So there it is right there. Okay, if you guys are in my class, I'm going to assign you guys that. Take care.